Go for it. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you for having conversation with me. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, you proposed that we structure this a bit more in a conversational format. Mm. So let's talk about uh, your, well, you and your project, mm. etc. I think the first thing I wanted to ask you was uh, maybe for the audience who may not know the project really well, if you can talk a bit about uh, Rangupa and how it came together somehow and how it's sort of evolved in the last years until what you you know what it has become today mm. i think it's like jakarta is very important mm -hmm. uh after 1998 where the dictatorship fell mm. in indonesia uh certain collectives got established and it's not only in the art uh it's also in the whatever you want you know farmer fishermen all those kind of stuff creative industry as well but so uh visual art is one of them and then we're one of the first we're not the oldest of course collectives came way 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 back but after 1998 we were established in 2000 <coughs> and then because we came from a city like jakarta where it's not the cultural capital and so it's actually kind of good uh so we can do a lot of stuff that we want to do by our own terms mm -hmm. and then yeah in here for example you have a lot of institutions no like university is strong nottingham contemporary is also like at least in city no well, actually internationally as well it's well known you know all those kind of stuff we started of course as we were young ones so we started as youth as youth but throughout the years we've become something else uh like the decision to become a school, the decision to gang up with other collectives, all those kind of stuff is because we think we could not enlarge in scale, but connect more dots. Mm -hmm. So it's like this, uh, it can be still small, mm -hmm. uh, but um, to work together all these small s things. Yeah, I'm very much interested in this idea of a collective of collectives and uh, what you're saying about the connection of the dots and the, the um, I think one of the, one of the things that I really wanted to ask you was related to those connections and not only the connections of the dots within, uh, you know, uh, Jakarta and all the other institutions, but also how the, the dots could connect to mm -hmm. other places around uh, the planet. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking specifically of uh, other places in maybe the global south or what we would call the global south and um, yeah maybe that could be like a bit of a provocation and i'm trying to maybe ask this question in order to go towards um, this notion of a pedagogical turn i would i would i would i would actually ask you a different question of like mm -hmm. how could someone like an instant something like us mm -hmm. could be useful for nottingham mm -hmm. like what do you think yeah, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I find it very difficult to answer that question because I'm still figuring out what, uh, how also. Nottingham uh, operates. I've only been here for three years and I think it takes a while to, to start understanding uh, a, a new place. But I think I'm coming to this by thinking of a parallel sort of similar institution that I've been... Uh, very much related with in, in Bogota in Colombia, mm -hmm. which is La Agencia, mm -hmm. which you may know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've heard. So, uh, so you're a part of La Agencia, okay. I, I, very much at, at the beginning of what, you know, like kind of the ground and that, you know, building the studio, etc. that was the space to hang out actually, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. uh, resonated very much with me, what you were talking about today, about the importance of hanging out in, in these yeah, experiences of learning and talking and producing new projects and, and coming as a collective and as a collective of collectives. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to throw back the question to you. How would you see uh, the <coughs> fact that some of these um, structures also emerge in different places and how do you, how do you I see have, your... Yeah, I have, pro I, I have like problems with that binary of South actually. Mm -hmm. okay. Although it comes of course from the third world, which is basically mm -hmm. from the non-aligned, but uh, happen in Bandung, Indonesia, but it's just like for me, I'm, I'm, it's, it's not that healthy anymore, at least for myself mm -hmm. to, to, to think, of, to think, 
to think like that still because one thing that's good about globalization is like we're in the same shit all together you know like it's not safer in london and then you're in bali you know with 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 a lot of stuff including terrorist attacks or whatever you know shootings uh and then the challenge is actually like uh, you're as confused as or not your not you you because you're from colombia but like being in here it's actually not less confusing than being some being in hong kong mm-hmm. you know so there is a certain kind of uh discontent let's say mm-hmm. about how things are and then that's global phenomenon uh flatten things out it's flat now uh and then i think by doing things together thinking together all those kind of stuff is just one way to get out of it mm-hmm. of imagining even only in the in the in the in the level of imagining uh through practicing though that stuff could happen differently mm-hmm. and then it's not the only way i would say mm-hmm. but that's what that's how i know mm-hmm. to do it yeah and could you say something about how um your you know your school your pedagogic program mm. um attempts to 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 generate other forms of knowledge production or knowledge otherwise or if you are maybe uninterested in these terms or these ideas uh it's not the way because because the knowledge we have is very different than the knowledge formal school has no mm-hmm. that's what 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 interesting at least for us it is a school already but it's just like oh it is It is a it is a platform for knowledge production already, but not a proper school. Mm-hmm. And then, I think this is because of like the lack of curriculum, the lack of pressure of being productive, all those kind of stuff. You know, competition is also another thing that is important, which needs to be challenged all the time because we talk about it a lot uh, tonight as well. Like that's almost the source of the problem. That you need to compete every time, you know, uh, with even your friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, how can we think that if my friend and this is really sincere, you know, this needs to be really sincere. If you do well, I will do well too. Mm-hmm. So there's no envy, there's no mm-hmm. jealousy, there's no comp- because it doesn't. It's not. You're not my competition, mm-hmm. you know. Like. Uh, we're we're building something together, whether we agree or we disagree on certain st- stuff. We agree on a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But uh, but the fact that we actually kind of like grow together mm-hmm. that's important. And then time needs to be played in it. Mm-hmm. You, uh, we just cannot do it if we don't know each other enough, you know. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, it has been a luxury in today's system let's say uh you just cannot give time anymore to a lot of people mm-hmm. yeah time is extremely unevenly distributed i think i wanted to to ask you about the relationship between this um well the pedagogic model of uh having you know like this open ended structure mm. that allows for a lot of other things but i'm I'm very curious about how it relates to other pedagogic models that are more institutionalized, uh, I guess, in Jakarta, etc. And maybe going back to your uh, contextualization, you know, the one that you made earlier on, uh, in you know, like post dictatorship, in a post dictatorship situation, and how do you see that? Maybe the politics of that um, pedagogy or knowledge production or the school or however mm-hmm. you want to call it. One thing is like maybe is to be less antagonistic towards a lot of things, uh, including institutions. Like they're doing stuff what because they believe in it. No, let them believe in it. It's fine. We just don't believe in it, and then we're doing something else. So, in the end of the day, 
whether the question maybe is just like whether the world is going to be better uh, with or without that kind of practice no uh, institution for example outside of us mm-hmm. most of the time we say we find that it's actually it's not worse at least so uh, we don't need to kill like you know we do uh, again it's it's competition again like we don't mm-hmm. we don't need to kill anyone mm-hmm. because we're 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 in the pond and then we have enough space enough resource all those kind of stuff to share it's mm-hmm. fine what i that's why i actually like ask you as well like for for something like nottingham or nottingham contemporary even uh how do you guys see us actually that's also interesting for me to learn you know like what's the value hmm. yeah I, ca- i cannot kind of know how yeah. nottingham uh, contemporary uh yeah i would see you because i'm ma- definitely not part of the institution but uh Yeah, I think I mean I would follow you in a way just to to give a speculative answer mm. and to think of how maybe you know an institution is not one single thing it's a multiplicity of different things and different possibilities so mm. um I think just the fact uh that you are here maybe is is because of a certain openness to to yeah this mm. invitation that you're that you're proposing like that for this I guess this open ended mm-hmm. uh, terms of discussion. Uh but there's always a politics and a cultural politics and aesthetic politics, etc. to that. And um yes, of course institutions, uh as you were saying before, maybe, you know, the world has flattened in a way, but it doesn't mean that there are no uh striations, etc. So valleys and hills. It's uh, <laughs> I yeah, I guess to to ask the question back to you uh how do you see working for uh documenta in that sense you know how do you think that documenta sees you mm. that is a uh maybe a bounce back of it yeah we're figuring out right mm-hmm. right now but what uh, to question also to come back to uh your previous question is like we don't dismiss mm-hmm. because we do we've learned throughout the years that people grew sometimes out of their shells no like political ideologies change for example all those kind of stuff so it's actually not healthy for something like us who's basically based on friendship based on our based our practice on ideo- certain ideologies as well mm-hmm. like politics all those kind of stuff because it's just too narrow it's not Actually it's not it's it has failed to at least in our in our case it has failed to capture the real social setting or the social happening you know uh because it's just not enough left right center you know all those mm-hmm. kind of uh separations and labels it's just not enough so if we're generous enough and curious enough i think only and then we demand as well from the other side no that you need to be curious and generous enough if you want to deal with us but uh including documenta mm. we can actually do something together that makes both of or more than two but more of course more than one but can be more than two that we can be proud of in the end or if there's no end inside we just like keep on going because we like working with each other mm-hmm uh no matter coming to open ended uh no matter what the result could be because it's not prepared you know as well it's like it's it's a mess but the question is like whether it's going to be a beautiful one or an ugly one no mm-hmm. that uh yeah remains to be seen i think and i think it's a perfect way to wrap up the conversation okay thank Hopefully you very it's much good enough i'm sure <laughs> it will be. Thank, thank you thank you very much thank you thank you